hello students i welcome you all to my channel engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet now we are going to solve this problem which says that the uniform concrete slave has a mass of 2400 kg determine the tension in each of the three parallel supporting cables when the slave is held in the horizontal plane is shown so we we, we are required to find the tension in this cable let's say this is ta and we have to find this tb and this tc and the 15 kilonewton force is acting somewhere here so is we know that the the slave has weight so first of all let's find the weight so the weight is 2400 multiplied by 9.81 and this will be in newtons so since we are given the, this force in kilonewton so let's write this in kilonewton so in order to write this in kilonewton we have to divide it uh, divide and multiply this with thousand so we have to multiply and divide this by thousand so this this thousand is 10 raised to the power 3 so we can replace this thousand by kilo so we will have 2400 multiply by 9.81 divided by 1000 and this 1000 in the numerator is converted into kilo so this is kilonewton so this 2400 divided by 1000 is 2.4 so let me write that this weight is we can write that the weight is 2.4 into 9.81 kilonewton or we can say that this is 2.4 multiplied by 9.81 so this is 23.544 so the weight is 23.544 kilonewtons so and this weight must be acting at the uh, geometric center of this concrete slab so this length of the slab is 2 plus 2 so this is 4 meters and this width is 2 plus 5.5 so this is 2.5 so let's say that this is this is the half of this 2.5 which is 1.25 let's say this is 1.25 and from here to here this line represents the mid uh, point of this length so this means that if this is 1.25 and this is 2 so somewhere here this is the geometric center of this slip and the weight is going to act at this particular point so let me represent that weight here so that weight is going to act here and this particular distance is let me write that this particular distance is 1.25 meters so now we are going to we are required to find this tension ta tp and tc so now since all the forces are vertical we can use the scalar approach and by scalar approach we can always find the moment of a force or a component uh, by this formula which is equal to f times d so we are going to use this formula now uh, since we have three unknowns so first of all i'm going to apply the summation of moment about the x-axis that will be equals to zero again this this concrete slave is in equilibrium so the counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive now as we can see that the perpendicular distance of this ta and the perpendicular distance of this tb from the x-axis is zero since they are intersecting with the x-axis so they are not going to produce the moment about the x-axis so this tc this weight and this 15 kilonewton force they are going to produce the moment about the x-axis so now as we can see that this tc is producing the moment about the x-axis in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the positive x so this means that this tc is producing the counterclockwise moment about the x-axis so i will write plus tc and the perpendicular distance of this tc the moment arm of this tc from the x-axis is this perpendicular distance which is 2.5 so we have to multiply this with 2.5 so 2.5 tc is the moment produced by this tc about that x-axis is similarly uh, this 15 kilonewton force is going to produce the moment about the x-axis in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so uh, the thumb will point out in the negative x so this means that it is going to produce the clockwise moment about the x-axis so for clockwise we need to write minus 15 kilonewton 
and the perpendicular distance or the moment arm of this 15 kilonewton force from that x axis is, is this distance which is 0 0.5 so we have to multiply it with 0 0.5 Similarly, this weight is also going to produce the moment about the x-axis in the clockwise direction. If we curl our right hand fingers in this direction, so the thumb will point out in the negative x. So that is going to produce the negative moment. The weight is 23.544 and the moment arm of this weight from that x-axis is, is this distance which is 1.25. So we will multiply this with 1.25 this is equal to zero so now from this we can say we can write that tc is 15 into 0 0.5 plus 23.544 into 1.25 divided by 2.5 so this is tc which is 15 into 0 0.5 plus 23.544 into 1.25 divided by 2.5 so this gives us tc the tension in that uh, cable at point c is equal to 14.772 and this will be in kilonewton since we have used this 15 in kilonewton and this is in kilonewton so the answer will be in kilonewton now we know the magnitude of this tc now if we apply the summation of moment about the y-axis so the summation of moment about the y-axis this must be equals to zero now as we can see that the perpendicular distance of this ta or the moment arm of this ta from the y-axis is, is zero since it is intersecting with the y-axis so it's not going to produce the moment about the y-axis so all uh, these remaining forces are going to produce the moment about the y-axis so now as we can see that this TB is going to produce the moment about the y-axis in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the negative y. So that is, uh, this means that if we observe uh, this TB from this direction so it is going to produce the moment in the clockwise direction about the y-axis. So we will write that minus TB and the moment arm of this TB is this perpendicular distance from the y-axis and this distance is 2 meters so we have to multiply this with 2 so this is minus 2 tb similarly this tc is going to produce the clockwise moment uh, about the y-axis if we observe this from this side and the perpendicular distance of this tc from that y-axis is, is this distance which is the length of this lathe which is 4 meters so it is going to produce the clockwise moment so i will write minus tc magnitude is now known which is 14.772 and the moment arm of tc is the is the perpendicular distance from the y-axis is, is this four meters so we will multiply it with four this weight is going to produce the moment about the y-axis in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the positive y direction so this means that the weight is going to produce the counterclockwise moment about the y-axis is so we will write plus now the weight magnitude is 23.544 and the perpendicular distance of this weight from the y-axis is, is this so this is the uh, moment arm of this weight from the y-axis which is 2 meters so we will multiply it with 2 and similarly this 15 kilonewton force is again producing the moment about the y-axis in the counterclockwise direction so we will write plus 15 and the perpendicular distance of this 15 kilonewton force from that y-axis is, is this distance which is 3 meters so we will write 3 multiply it with 3 and this is equal to 0 so we have this minus first let me find this sum so this is minus 14 point 772 into 4 plus 23.544 into 2 plus 15 into 3 so this gives me 33 so minus 2 tb plus 33 this is equal to 0 and from this we can say that minus 2 tb is equal to minus 33 and if we divide both sides by minus 2 so 33 divided by 2 this gives us 16.5 so tb 
is equal to 16.5 kilonewtons. So the tension in the cable which is acting at point B is 16.5 kilonewton. And similarly to find TA, we can apply the summation of forces along the z-axis. So that will be equal to zero. So the summation of forces along the z-axis is that must be equal to zero. And the z, the upward direction, the positive z direction is in the upward direction. So we can say that TA plus TB plus TC minus the weight minus this. So TA is not known. We will write plus TA plus TB. TB is 16.5 plus TC. TC is 14.772 minus that 15 kilonewton and minus weight. So weight is 23.544. This is equal to zero. And from this we can say that TA is equal to minus 16.5 minus 14.772 plus 15 and plus 23.544. So this gives me TA equals to 7.272 kilonewton so ta is equal to 7.272 kilonewton tb is 16.5 and tc is 14.772 kilonewton so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if this helps in your learning also like this video and subscribe my channel for such more problem solutions